An Adelaide researcher has come up with a clever way to bring much needed relief to the people left devastated by the Philippines typhoon. He's developed software that allows mobile phones to work without powers, enabling crucial communications back on the air. When Typhoon Haiyan smashed the Philippines, the suffering was worsened by the loss of communication. Rescue efforts hampered and families cut off without news of who had survived. I just wanted to let my family in Sydney know that I'm still OK. In some areas, about half the mobile phone network was working, and in other areas, only about 15%. But that could be changed. Adelaide researcher Paul Gardner-Steven says his new software lets mobiles work without towers. We can potentially get communications across an entire city with absolutely no supporting infrastructure out there. With the free software called Serval, phones can communicate directly with each other, almost like two-way radios. A small mesh extender broadens the access to Wi-Fi. That will provide coverage for anyone uh, coming along this area of the track. I should now be able to send Jeremy a message. He's hoping to get the software to Red Cross workers in the Philippines but needs old smartphones to make it happen. Even you know, sort of a, a low-end Android phone uh, you know, from you know, two or three years old potentially can be quite useful in these situations. With the help of students, Dr Gardner Stephen believes the first phones could be refurbished and ready for distribution within a fortnight. That will be a really nice legacy that we can leave. If you'd like to donate an old smartphone to the Serval project, email Dr Gardner-Stevens at Flinders University. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.